Okay, this is webmo.net. It's a free chem draw software. It's really great for those of us in the chem and biochem field to be able to draw and look at our molecules and assign like point groups and look at symmetry um, and look at um, like electron densities and find homo and lumo. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys a little bit about how this works because it's free. It's not like, you know, you don't have to pay for it like Sawgrass. Um, and I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna start out and I just clicked. I just clicked one time and it put me an Fe molecule and I'm gonna put one here and show you that you can just command Z and it removes it. So since I didn't want that, I'm gonna throw on, I'm gonna go over here to my periodic table. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna grab three coins. So I'm gonna just click and drag to attach it. And you can start from the middle and click and drag out or go from the outside in, it doesn't matter. And I'm on my laptop, so eventually this is probably not gonna pick up, so forgive me. But um, then I'm gonna go back to my periodic table. I'm gonna grab my bromine and I'm gonna attach it. And you can even throw it way out here if you really want to, or go way in here. It doesn't care. Um, actually, I'm not sure that, that one's attached, so I'm gonna control Z and delete. And okay, so what we're gonna do now at this point is, you know, I've built it all wacky looking for a purpose. So you go to clean up, comprehensive idealized, and look at that, <laughs> it made it beautiful. So I'm gonna go um, word to the wise, uh, if you want to look at your mo molecule, do not forget to go click at rotate because if you don't, you're going to go to click on it and you're going to accidentally throw an extra atom on that you didn't want to. And again, all you got to do is hit control Z and it'll remove it for you, but it, that can get frustrating. So um, the whole purpose of this is what I really wanted to show you guys is um, this molecule can either come in a FAC or MARE version and we have built the FAC version because the way I like to remember is back is like face um, and these are all um, in a face and then if you rotate your molecule these are in a face and so um, I'm going to show you guys how to build the mare version as well but right now what I want to show you before I do that is um, you can click calculate and you can click symmetry and symmetrize and it will show you exactly what point group this is. So this is a C3V, and then if you click the drag down, you can see every symmetry element in this point, um, in this molecule. Um, you can see all of the point groups that it could be. The, of course, the top one listed is the one that you would name it. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Calculate symmetry, display symmetry elements, and then I'm going to show you, see, show you how it actually divides your planes. See your three, it's a C3V, so there's one, two, three uh, axes of rotation. And then let's look at, I'm going to take that off of there. Let me remove those. Um, and so, so what you want to do to change this to the mare version of the molecule, in the mare version, um, instead of these molecules being on the faces, you want to have all your chlorines on this axis and then all of your bromines on this, this axis or vice versa. So all you do is you go to back to your periodic table. Um, you're going to click your bromine because basically all we're going to do is we're going to switch um, this for this. That's what we're going to do. So um, I'm going to put my bromine here. I'm gonna go back to my periodic table. I'm gonna grab my chlorine and then see how these are in, in the same axis and then I've got to get these in the same axis. So now I'm gonna go back over here and click on my rotate molecule. And then I can show you guys easily um, how this is different. So see, now, now I can't make a face with it. No matter what I do to it, I can't group those as a face. So. We have a chlorine axis and we have a bromine axis. Now, I'm going to hit clean up, comprehensive, idealized one more time, and it's going to um, leave it this way. But what really happened, ironically, is it 
changed our symmetry. So now it's a C2V, and you can see we only have two um, axes of reflection. So, um, and then when you click Calculate Symmetry, Symmetrize, you can see um, there's our C2V point group, and it's, again, will tell you every um, kind of symmetry in this element. So, um, this this is actually a really powerful software for free. Uh, I don't really know why they provide it for free, but I'm glad that they do. Uh, another really cute thing is, is um, you can look at the electron density. <laughs> look how puffy it makes it. So cute. And then you can look at the, whoops, can go back to calculate Huckel molecular, or, molecular orbitals. And this one has a lot of, this has a lot of uh, orbital levels. And you can see that we got to go all the way to the second page to find the HOMO and LUNO. Okay, and so here's our HOMO. This is our highest occupied molecular orbital because it's got two electrons in it and you can see that the next level doesn't and they're the same energy which makes me think that it may very well be on the same um maybe on the same level i'm, I'm not i'm just a i'm a senior but i'm, I'm not totally good at all of this stuff yet i'm just learning this is my first time in an inorganic class but um so that's the homo and then there's the luno and the limo is obviously in a different color. Um, and these appear to be D orbitals because it's um, of the way those orbitals look. So anyways, I just, I think this is really neat. You can, you can look at all of these. You can rotate them around and play with them. Some of these are <laughs> quite strange. Um, some of the anti-bonding and non-bonding are just, they're just crazy. They're like so far out there. You just, um, it's just wild. But anyways, you can, you can, you can do a lot with the software. It's actually pretty cool. So anyway, there's our, there's our molecule. And that is how you can go between FAC and MARE. Again, this is a FE CL3 BR3 with a three minus charge molecule. And, um, and look there, you can go to new and build a new one if you want to. So anyway, this is kind of where I'm leaving you guys. I've got a ton of work to do, but um, it seems like a lot of people were struggling that, with that in my class. And I thought I would just make a quick little demo. So there you guys go.